Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to create these with After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first one, let's go to Shape Layers, hold this icon and choose Rectangle Tool. And let's create one rectangle like this, Clization Tool, and go to Fill, let's choose Color Blue. Okay, so in this time, let's change name Cube. And let's right click, Composition Settings, 3D render and choose render engine cinema 4D. Click OK. So let's select this cube and click this icon for turn on 3D layer. Open geometry option and let's change extrusion deep 100. So let's go to active camera and choose here first view. OK, 100 is not enough. Let's change this 300. OK, so in this time go to stroke and choose color blue with eyedropper icon and let's change color to dark blue for looks shadow click ok and in this time let's create new null object right click new and null object and let's back to active camera and let's go to align and don't forget to move the anchor point center hold control and double click pen behind icon for move the anchor point center click station tool move to like this or we can use align like this also select this cube and for move the center we can't use align for 3d layer and for fix this problem again let's uncheck this box again let's click here and here also select this null click align and here so select these buff layers and click this again turn on 3d layers again select these layers press r for open rotation and let's hold alt and click x rotation for cube let's go to link icon and link to new object x rotation and for down expression click this empty area and also y let's hold alt click y rotation and link to y rotation of new object and click here for down expression and select this null and press p open position and let's select this cube let's press r open rotation and let's hold alt click x rotation and link to x position of null object and for down expression click this empty area and again hold alt click y rotation keyframe and go to link icon and link to y position and click here for down expression and let's hold alt and click z rotation and link to Z position. So, in this time, select this null and we can control like this and also Y position. We can control here and Z position. Nice. And select this cube. Let's control D for duplicate and move to here. Again, control D, move to right. In this time, let's select this null and we can create animations like this and Y position for create like these animations and Z positions. So in this time, if you want to make random cube animations with new object, let me show how to create this. Select these cubes and go to search bar and right here, rotation Z. And let's double click for edit and paste here this expression. I will add this expression on the expression below. You can check it. And here we can change this 15, 15 or 100 minus 100. I will keep this 50. Again, let's double click here for edit and paste expression. And here also, and let's write this 100. Okay, and here, also here, and this expression, and this, and this. In this time, let's take this null and press P, and let's change Z position. So we can see these cubes is random animations like this. So we can also animate these expressions. Let's create Z position and go to 6 seconds and change this 
for example 300 let's see okay also we can create exposition and go to here and change exposition like this let's see okay not bad we can create abstract animations like this way and thank you for watching my video don't forget to subscribe to the channel like video leave comments and have a good day good luck